Howdy, this is Byron with Campo Vans and uh, we've done this beautiful green machine here and we've done a great collaboration with Daniel from Mad Vans and he's going to tell the challenge that uh, putting all the parts and pieces in the interior was. The challenge of this vehicle was that the customer wanted a full bathroom, kitchenette, large fridge freezer, bathtub, dinette area, and comfortable sleeping area all in a 144 inch wheelbase 4x4 sprinter and we managed to get it all in. So we're going to walk you through the details of how we did it. So to start out on the interior of the van we have um, a steel framework and powder coated. The reason for this is so we can use the thinner quarter inch bamboo material on all the sides. The other things that are important not only to us but to the customer was a diesel cooktop and this actually doubles as a heating element with this vent here and it actually heats the interior of the car alongside if you need the s-bar hydronic system but this is beautiful because it's actually silent we also use the Rivati sink here and the reason why we like this is because it has not only a cutting board it has a vegetable tray as well along with a nice pull down faucet unit as well. We had quite a challenge uh, trying to put all of the accoutrements in this size of a van. One being the toilet box, which they wanted a full toilet and hand wash sink. This is a Lavio dry flush toilet. There's no water, there's no black tank or anything with this. The sink is a custom sink. Daniel created that so that we could have a hand wash station inside of the toilet box as well. The customer wanted a fridge freezer. The ones we really like to use are marine grade isotherm. And this is a fridge freezer combo. The fridge being a beautiful size, as well as the freezer being able to have a lot of capacity to hold a lot of items in it. Once again, just kind of looking at all the space that we had to use in the van, we decided to use as much as possible for storage with drawers and doors. We also have a nice lower drawer for dishes and pans, as well as just a little cubby here to put things in. It actually returns back over here and gives you more back in here. This is also a, an access for larger things in here. One of the challenging requirements of this build was uh, that the customer wanted a Japanese soaking tub. We think it's a brilliant idea. So underneath the seating area are dual tanks. There's a 40 gallon tank over here. There's a 35 gallon tank under me. So while we're sitting here, why don't we just show you how the soaking tub is accessed. There you go. And you can step up here, stand in your tub, sit down in it as the water comes through the hydronic heating system and gives you 120 degree water starting. And by the time you're in the tub and it fills up, it's probably at about 95 to 100. We feel this might be a van life game changer. <laughs> <laughs> the other nice feature is we have a very long shower, so it can double. I could stand back here and take a shower if I'd like to. Same faucet, same temperature. It's a great thing after surfing or mountain biking. So you've been out in the woods hanging out and with some friends, possibly had a glass of wine. You want to take a tub. You've had dinner. Now you want to fold everything up and make the bed work. Here's how we're going to do it. Voila, now you're ready for sleep. Hey, I'm Sid here with Campo Vans as well, and I'm more of the systems expert, and we have a lot of great features that are kind of undercover that I want to tell you about real quick. This van has 200 watts of Renogy solar on the roof, and it also has 225 amp hours of battery in the front engine compartment. So we were able to keep all of the battery systems outside of the car to save space. The customer really wanted both the heat source for his cooking and the heat source for air and water to be from the same exact fuel source. So we were able to use the diesel cooktop and we were able to use the Rixon system, which uses an S-Bar D5 to heat glycogen within our hot water system. This build was a four month process from customer idea through design and then through the execution of the build. Everything is handmade without templates. And if you're wondering about this fantastic color, uh, this is a custom ceramic coating 
done at LMR Customs in Texas. It's been on many, many Jeeps and pickup trucks. Uh, this is the first Sprinter with it. A couple of exterior highlights for us was obviously to add the ladder, a roof rack, front bumper. That was all from Illuminus. We couldn't have built this van without flare spaces. They needed to sleep sideways in this particular van. The client is a tall person, needed some extra length, and this is the extended flare. This actually gives almost 10 inches more space side to side on the interior. This is a great chance for us to say we're better together. Campo Vans believes that we're better together. This custom build could not have been done without the whole shop. Daniel and Sid, with Isaiah and Mike. So we're grateful to be able to do this for clients. If you're interested, look us up. Feel free to reach out over our website, on our Instagram, or obviously this video is on YouTube. So shoot us an email. Our contact information is in the description. We're really proud of this. And we hope you guys like it. Thank you. Awesome. That was great. Cool.